Hello everyone, today's book is called Flowers for Princess Fischl. If you enjoy this audiobook series, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and also maybe leaving a like down below. Thank you very much, and let's begin. Flowers for Princess Fischl, Volume 1 The preliminary volume of the Flowers of Princess Fischl series. This work originally came in a violet and black wooden box as a limited edition gift, but many hardcore fans of the series who wanted to collect the whole saga were enraged by the great amount of content versus the small number of copies printed. Due to this, Yay Publishing House would name this book Volume Zero and sell it separately. Eventually, the original work, the Boxed Collector's Edition, and Volume Zero would all come to be regarded as standard by fans. Phantasmagoria the dream lives on. Such words surely must appear in the midst of every tale, and they are largely the words of the Kaiserin, of the... Uh, this is a German word, I'm so sorry. <laughs> of the Immernachtreich. I hope that was somewhat accurate. Sorry for anyone who is listening who is also German. Okay. This, surely, is not the enigma that concerns the greatest majority of readers. But we must still start here nonetheless. Osvaldo Hrafnavins, the mighty lord of the Nachtraben. Official strength in battle might be considered a 10, and the beasts of the world would have been an average of 15. Then Osvaldo's strength may be considered 13. His great power was on display when he destroyed Damerung in Volume 1. That said, the Nachtvorhang is itself the nemesis of Damerung anyway. As for the feelings that Osvaldo holds towards Fischl, Mr. Nine does not believe it to be romance, but more likely a form of imprinting common to bird kindred. Editors in Chief's Note Regardless of what the author says, dear readers, you are free to interpret the personal relationships of the characters from Immenachtreich, however you like. Aside from this, the title Prince Nachtrauben is not a particularly high-flown one, considering that the Night Ravens have always been known for being conspirators and bearers of curses. Osvaldo likely insisted on this title, for how could a mere king of the night call himself thus before the Imen Nachrei. Beasts of the World Gesamt Kunstwerk In certain probabilities, this is the beast of the world that the Imer Nachtreich would be faced with in this cycle. Its battle strength is around 30. In a distant causality, if the philosopher Zarathustra was not chosen, then the opera writer would have gained victory in the contest over the will of the worlds. Once Gesamt Kunstwerk takes the stage in the opera theater of the apocalypse, many more beasts of the world that reside within the center of the universe will inexorably begin to appear as well. In the final volume, The Weakness of the Beast of the World, Saint of Seven Tears, whose combat strength was ten and therefore equal to Fischl, was quite out of the ordinary, and the saint merely wept for Zarathustra, at first, a choice that seems undeserving of any blame. Both Zarathustra and the musician exist to give praise unto the princess in the Verertolong. One proclaims the agony she suffers in her heart, while the other proclaims the grandeur of her travails. The princess in, of course, will not favor the latter, for of such things would she be ashamed. Zoma Nachtgarden. It is said that those who are highly skilled in the magical arts will possess their own unique domains of consciousness. Their loves, hatreds, yearnings, jealousies, adherence, and passions of the soul will be stored here. In the fictional tales of other novels, this space is called Summerland. The Summer Nachtgarden of the Princessin is something in this vein. That this concept was never well explored in the end remains quite the pity. The suspected eternal return. Quite a few of the finer points of the tale have caused people to wonder 
if the Kaiserin of the Emir Nachtrei once experienced all that Fischl has. Fischl's father is undoubtedly not a mere shade. He is majestic and mighty, and helps Fischl to dispel her confusions. As for Fischl's mother, the Kaiserin, her actions and deeds show her to have quite an interesting character indeed. But she will only speak one line, which is, as was noted earlier in this text, the dream lives on. In the final volume, Fischl's mother had already faded away, and so this volume naturally did not have this preceding line. But as the universe entered its denouement and all things within it flowed into the Immer Nachtrei, she spoke another line of enigmatic intent. Find meaning somewhere. The night deepens. Find meaning somewhere. The night deepens. But the dream lives on. Dear readers, I hope that you all will find happiness in this world, where the sun still rises each day. Collection of Questions and Answers Question Dear Mr. Nine, may I ask what the relationship between the Celestial Emperor's daughter in the legend of Shattered Halberd and official von Luftloss Nachfriedland is? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm, sorry. I I'm not even gonna cut that out. <laughs> it was too funny. All right. Um, Answer. I felt that the tragedy that unfolded towards the end of Volume 5 of Legend of the Shattered Helbert was due to the male protagonist and the Celestial Emperor's daughter attraction to him. As such, I wanted to write a Princess in the Verertolong who had no need of a male protagonist, who was the scaffold that would come to be flowers for Princess Fischl. Eventually, though, I did write the sixth volume of Halbert, which rescued the end. There was probably some cross-pollination in the process of writing two series at the same time, but I was personally quite pleased with the result. Question. In the fight between Mur's dad, Khan, and Asura and his sword Leviathan, at full strength versus Gesam Tungstwerk, who would come out on top? Answer. I originally intended to refuse to answer this question, but the editor-in-chief said that she'd axe my next manuscript if I didn't. In which case, my mora would be on Gesamtkunstwerk. Question. Mr. Nine, you mentioned in Farewell, Frau Welt that you were suffering from hair loss. Are you doing better now? Answer. Could the A publishing house not accept this sort of question? And do people actually read what gets added in these new editions? Editors in Chief's note. Oh, but the readers are very concerned about you. And yes, they are also very concerned with the purchase of new editions. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this one. And sorry if you hated me not cutting out those little mistakes I made. I just thought they were kind of amusing, seeing I know pretty much nothing about German. Sorry about that. Well, again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like down below. Maybe also subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.